topic that was assigned to me is monitoring and grading e-learning accomplishment, in uh, particularly in facilitating e-learning session. Before we proceed, let me have first a roll call attendance. Say present if you're here, Ms. Virgis Duras. Okay. Present, uh, ma'am. Okay, it seems like everyone is present today. Very good. Just a few reminders, please. Uh, first, please do not unmute your microphone until I told you to do so. Second is for questions or comments, just type them in or chat them in our chat platform. Then third, this session is recorded for documentation purposes. And lastly, please be advised to adhere with the proper netiquette elucidated on the video posted in our course homepage. Is that clear to everyone? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. Okay, so the purpose of this session is to demonstrate the processes in monitoring and grading e-learning accomplishments. At the end of the session, you will be able to set up course completion and activity completion, grade and provide feedback to students using submission bin, and access and generate reports. There are several types of reports. We have the live logs, logs. We also have the participation reports, the course completion, and so on, which we will be tackled later on. Okay, let's start our discussion by simply understanding the context of monitoring the e-learning accomplishments. As Tibet trainer, our goal is merely to develop the skills of our learning uh, learner, am I correct? Okay, so the question now is, how do we know if such skills are required by our learners? Yes, exactly. We monitor. In other words, we monitor students' progress. Okay, monitoring student progress, according to Frey and Fisher in 2011, is a systematic use of data that employs learning trackers to gather data on students' performance. So it could be a lot easier when using the learning management system. So we have a lot of LMS products worldwide, but for now, we are currently using the free version of the Moodle. Okay, so we have other products, but of course, we will be now focusing on the Moodle itself. So our topic are divided into three subparts. Of course, the main topic is the monitoring and grading, e-learning uh, accomplishment, but mainly they, these are divided into three subparts. We have the course completion and activity completion. We have the grade and provide feedback, and we also have the reports. So to discuss that further, let me bring you to my... Um, what you call this? Let me bring it to my development site. Is it visible to you, our development site? Yes? Yes, ma'am, visible po. Thank you. So in this, visible, uh, this is a development site of the bread and pastry production. These are subdivided into six parts. Um, which mainly are the core competencies. So now we will be selecting one of those parts. We will be focusing on the prepare and display PETI4. So first topic that we are going to demonstrate is the course completion. In the course completion, to set up the course completion, make sure you are in the particular course that you want to get or you want to set rather. As you click the course, again, this is the PETI4, the uh, prepare and display PETI4. As we click the course, you will see these navigation links here. So we have the course, the settings, the participants, grades, reports, and more. In our case, or in this case, for this demonstration, we click more. Okay, as we click, uh, click the more, we could see a lot of options here, but we will select the course completion, which, okay, this the course completion, which leads us to this interface here. So it allows us to set, to set up several uh, things that we want uh, in our course, but for now, we will be uh, focusing on the general 
op uh, option or general setting and the activity completion. So it says here that it has been locked because, of course, earlier I have already set everything, but for demonstration purposes, we will just unlock that. Then we will go back to the general setting. Okay, can you still hear me, class? Can you still? Yes, ma'am, very clear, Paul. Okay, thank you. I'm just checking. You know, uh, the internet could be unstable, so I'm just checking on you if you can still hear me. So in gen when you click the general tab, the general settings tab, it will lead you to the completion requirements, wherein we have here a drop-down menu. When you click that, it will give you two options, which are the course is complete when all conditions are met, and the course is complete when any of the conditions are met. So in my case, in this course, I would prefer to set all conditions are met. So when you say all conditions, there's no, um, there's nothing left. Everything should be finished for in the case of our students. So that's the requirement for this course. And then for to set the activity completion, we have here, a lot of uh, resources and activity. These are the resources and activity that we've created. It's just that it reflects uh, those things reflected here in this activity completion because it will allow us to select whichever uh, activity or resource that we want to uh, for our students to uh, accomplish. Okay, but in my case, I would prefer all. So I would just select all, okay? And then we're done with that. So the conditions required is all selected activities to be completed. Then the course grade, since uh, we don't expect our student to really um, achieve the highest uh, score or the highest grade, so we'll just set them up into up to 85 points or 85 percent you could also uh, disable this one by just removing the check mark in the enable area okay but for me i would rather uh, put a required course grade so once you're done setting up the general setting the condition of activity completion and the grade you could just save uh, click the save changes button and that's it we're done with the course completion um setting okay we have already set up the course completion is there any question before we proceed okay so if there's none we shall go to the activity none ma'am thank you so we shall go to the activity completion so ma'am what makes it different from the activity completion in the course completion and this another activity completion that you're go you will be going to demonstrate so let's just say the course completion is more generalized which uh, uh talks about the course the whole course itself okay but when we talk about activity completion that i'm going to demo i will be demonstrating now this is more specific to each activity each resources that we have okay so in this case i will be demonstrating specifically a book for example okay so each of these activity and resources have their own setting. Uh, please be reminded of that. They have their own setting, which allows us to set on how we want our students to comply or to complete a specific task. So in the book, this is more on reading, more on viewing purposes. So when we set that, we just click the book itself and then proceed to setting link. Okay, let's proceed to the setting link. And then this will lead us to the setting interface. And then we'll find, scroll down to the activity completion. So it says here the completion tracking. When we click the drop down menu, it will lead us to the three options. And then we have here this do not indicate activity completion. Students can manually mark the activity as completed. And lastly, show activity as complete when conditions are met. 
actually these three options here goes through all of the uh, the types of resources of or activity, mapa quiz man, forum, assignments, they have the same options, okay? Tatlo lang yan. But what makes it different is, or what makes it different is, when you click the show activity as complete, when conditions are met, we are talking about conditions here, that makes this activities, resources, different from one another, okay? Kapag kinlik mo na yung conditions are met, may pagkakaiba-iba na po sila. So, mamaya makikita nyo yung pagkakaiba. But in our book, um, we only have this require view. So, it means to say that the scores must sense that our students viewed or read, have read the material that we have posted in the book resource. Okay? So, just save. Just save it and display and you're good in your book setting. Any questions about the book setting? Okay, so I think um, there's no more questions. So we shall proceed to the forum for us to see the difference of book from the uh, of forum from the book when it comes to activity completion. So again, just click the setting. Same process, click the setting, then it will lead you to these options here. Then just find where is that activity completion. So there you have it. After clicking the activity completion, it will give you these conditions here, which are a lot more compared to the book. Okay, do you agree with me? Please click the like emoji if you agree. So... In the completion tracking, like I've said, this is similar to that of the book and other res uh, references resources. So we have three options here, but what makes it different is when you click the show activity as complete when conditions are met. So this one shows when you click this option here. This, uh, what you call this, uh, requirements or condition shows kapag pinindot natin itong when conditions are met. Literally, these are the conditions, okay? So, I'll just uh, uh, <clears throat> bring you to these requirements. First, require view. Of course, they should view that. Then, require grade. For uh, In my case, I want the rating. Then, since it's a forum, do, do you require post? Of course, I require post. But I don't have to check that. Why? Because I want, I want to require post post in both discussion and reply. So in this part here, it just uh, requires at least one. The student could just post or the student just uh, could just reply. But in, in my forum, I want them to post and I want them to reply so that they could complete no, the uh, specific activity. And then you could also enable the date. But for me, since we are self-paced learning, I'll just leave that to my students to schedule whenever they want uh, to um, do this specific activity. So I'll just leave that unmarked, then save and display. Okay, so I hope I made that clear. Am I too fast? <laughs> Am I being too fast, class? I'm sorry for the... <laughs> okay, so... My um, ayun. so my internet is going slower and I'm going fast. <laughs> now let's go back to our course homepage to access the assignment. Okay, so uh, as we access the assignment, I'm going to select here task sheet that would represent our assignment. Okay, okay, this is it. So, just simply click this one, double click, tap, tap, and then we will, uh, <clears throat> this will lead you to this interface and just select the setting, setting, and then same drill. Let's go down to the activity completion. Okay, so 
Same goes through with the other two. We have three options. Again and again, I would select conditions are met. And then I would also select passing grade, uh, receive grade, and make submission. In this case class, uh, you if you um, check this required grade, you really have also to set up the grade um, setting here in this particular assignment. So you may opt to select the point and then uh, the maximum grade that you want. Uh, and also the grading method is direct grading. But if you have a rubric with you, why not? You could also select a rubric, okay? After setting the maximum grade, of course you have also to set the grade, the passing grade that you prefer for your students. So in my case, I wanted 85. Okay, so I guess that's all for the assignment. Now we shall proceed to the quiz. For the quiz, um, actually it's uh, almost similar to the assignment. However, some of the quizzes are um, automated. No, They are checked automatically by the software, by Moodle. You, all you have to do is to set up the answers, the question and answers, and then that's it. You're good. As long as your uh, students will answer the question automatically, that will be graded. So now for the quiz, let's go again to the setting. Then scroll down to the activity completion. Then, same drill, conditions are met, require grade. You must receive a grade, of course. The learners must receive a passing grade, of course. And how many attempts? Knowing that that is a quiz, it should require, an, uh, it should have an attempt. Of course, if we're aiming our students to pass, we need to give them chances, right? But I guess the maximum chance is three attempts. So when you set these three attempts here, and when you set the requirement of the grade here, you must also set the grade setting, okay? So since my quiz is 10 items, I require them to pass at least eight points. And then I gave them three attempts. And of course, the grading method is whichever the highest grade that would be recorded, that would be selected as their grade, final grade. As simple as that. There you have it. We are already done with our course completion as well as our activity completion. Now we shall proceed to the grading. So there are um, two ways of providing grades to our students. We have we can grade it manually via submission uh, via grade book, and we can also grade them via submission bin. So. Here, I'm going to show you how do we grade in the submission bin. So we will go back to the assignment. Okay, as I click that one, I have here already um, <clears throat> set up uh, assignment. I've already set that with all the instructions are there. All I have to do is to view all submissions. Okay, just to see uh whoever who among my students have already complied have already submitted but based on this status here there's no submission yet but of course we could still opt to select you no know, the grade section we could uh grade them um for the demonstration purposes so all you have to do is to click after you click the view grade uh, view all submission you can just simply click the grade button that will lead you to this interface. This is called the speed grader. So where you can see the output of your students. Of course, if it's written output, you can automatically see that here. And then you can also grade them, grade them whatever grade you want, and then provide the feedback that you want. Okay, so because I could say awesome. Uh, yeah. And then once you're done, just save changes or save and show the next students that you want to check. Okay, but for now, since we're done with grading via submission, I'm going to show you how do we grade manually in the gradebook. So as simple as this, just return to your uh, course homepage, then select the grades. Once you click the grades navigation link, it will lead you to this um, 
interface here. It looks like a class record where you can simply put the grade manually, directly, as long as you want. Okay, so I could uh, edit the grade of my students here automatically. As simple as that. Very uh, direct to the point. Very straightforward. And once you're done editing those grades, you can just save changes. And then that's it. So how do we... Okay, any questions before I proceed? Okay, so Nan, thank you. Last and the last part would be access report. So how do we uh, know those uh, activity of our students, specific activities? How did, uh, what are they doing? What are the actions that they've, that they've been doing? So we could simply access them through this reports link here. So all of the links are available, very useful links are available in our course homepage. So all you have to do is to click them. So <clears throat> I'm now, I'm going to click now the reports link. So go to reports tab. And then once you click that, you could see several types of reports. As I've mentioned earlier, we have the logs, the course completion, the live logs, activity report, participation, activity completion. I don't have to go on uh, to define them one, -on -one, uh, one by one since I know these are all self-explanatory. You could define it by yourself. But all I'm going to show you is their functions and what do we do in this specific um reports so for the course completion we could say uh, we could see rather which of the tasks are already um or which of the students have already completed and have already been graded okay so that would be uh viewed with a check mark here so if as uh, some of our students have their check mark here. It means to say that they have already accomplished the task, all of the tasks in our course. As simple as that. And you can even download that. Just simply click here, Excel compatible or spreadsheet format. But for us, no, we are always be uh, we are using the Microsoft Excel, so we can just download it via Excel. Okay. The next report is. My internet is going slower. Next report is the logs. Okay. When you, uh, logs is, okay, wait, I'm, I'll go back to, okay, the report stuff. So for the log reports, it shows the activities everyone has done within the course, each activity. So you can just select through this drop down menu. For the participants, what date, what action, what activities, and then you could simply click the get this logs. Once you click that get this log, all of those selected uh, activities, dates, days, participants will reflect on this interface. And then if you scroll down further, you could see an option that you could download. Okay, you could download this following data that are uh, that have been shown in your screen. So it could be via CSV or Excel. Okay, just click, uh, simply select and then click the download. And then that's it. Finally, we have the, what else do we have here? Participant report. Okay, I guess my time is already uh, out. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Uh, participation report simply shows uh, um, uh, the participation of our students. So which, uh, what time did they uh, open that specific activity and so on and so forth. So to get this data here, of course, we can uh, just scroll down and then download them by clicking is this the, no, it's live blogs pala. Sorry, the course participation, yeah. But same goes through with this, with the other reports class. These are all downloadable. Just click and click all of those things that you need and then you're good. You can all obtain, you can acquire those data that you want. Okay, any questions uh, so far? 
Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. so if there's none, let's just have a short recap. So for the course completion and activity completion, you go to the course, you click more, select course completion, click general tab to set up. Okay, for the activity completion, go to the course, go to a particular resource, activity you want to set, click the settings, select activity completion, then set. For the grade and provide feedback, go to course, select any of the assignments, click view all submissions, click grade, then add grade or provide feedback. And lastly, for the reports, we have several types. You can access the logs, live logs, participation, activity, and activity completion reports. And these are all downloadable. You can generate them and uh, save, uh, save the, data, the data if you want, if you wish to. Okay, so if there's no other questions, I guess it's all. Uh, that's all. Let's call it today. Thank you, class, and goodbye for now.